After our 15 minute penetrant dwell time has expired, we can now begin cleaning the part. This will be accomplished in two basic steps. The first part will be to take clean rags and clean off the heavy residual dye that remains on the part. The second step will be to use the cleaning solution on a rag to finish cleaning the surface of the part. The first cleaning step is to remove all the bulk penetrant from the part, such that the part either begins to look silver or its base material color again, down to basically a light pink color. You do this by using a clean dry rag and just wiping the penetrant off. Use as many rags as necessary to remove the penetrant solution from the part. The better you clean the part, the more effective and adequate your results are going to be when you apply the developer. Now that the first cleaning step is completed where we've cleaned most of the penetrant solution off of the surface of the part, we're going to use a spray cleaner on a rag. This spray cleaner must never be sprayed directly on the part, otherwise it could ruin your indications if there are any available. You spray the solution on a rag and then begin wiping the part. You wipe the part until all of the red is gone from the part and the part is no longer pink and is absolutely clean. So when you spray your developer in the next step, your background is that of the part and there's not excessive bleed out from the dye penet penetrant materials. After step two of the cleaning process has been completed and we've removed all of the penetrant from the part, we now have to allow the solvent to evaporate for a maximum of 10 minutes. So the final cleaning of the part has been completed. We're now ready to apply the developing solution to the part. This will wick out and form visible red indications of any penetrant that was stuck in any cracks or openings to the surface. Spraying the developer on the part after shaking it to ensure it's thoroughly mixed is as simple as using a can of spray paint. You spray nice, even, steady strokes on the part, not overdoing it such that it pools and forms or runs. You allow this developer to dry completely to a white powder. After application of the developer and after it has dried completely, you will see the red indications will begin to appear. These indications are anything on the surface of the part that is a cavity or a crack where the penetrant has previously went into it. The developer pulls it back out. Caution must be observed here because not everything you see is a relevant indication or an indication that causes a rejectable defect. Indications in the roots of the teeth are typically used and caused by chatter. That would render this part unusable. Large pink stains are usually the effect of a poor cleaning at the end of the penetrant development step. After the evaluation of the part with the developer on it, you can see this part does have chatter and damage in the roots of the teeth. This renders the part unusable and is therefore scrap. Either way, this part has to be cleaned up, dispositioned, and its paperwork filled out, and if replaced if necessary.